Jimmy, once again, you've come through. I'm filling in for Lisa, and you see it that we're in the Kirby and Holloway kitchen, whipping up something wonderful. It's what we do. <laughs> yeah. That's how it works. It's what we do. This is Chef Deborah Lee Walker, who is here to show us how to make, what are we making? This is a shrimp dipped Eastern Shore style. And what gives it the Eastern Shore style is we have to have Old Bay. As you know, in Eastern Shore, we have our crabs and everything else. Right, right, right. right. So we got to have a little Old Bay on there. So basically, there are three components to this dip. There is the mayonnaise-like dressing, which is going to hold it together. Okay. Then we have the protein and the vegetables, and then we have a cheese mixture. That's four, but okay. I'm, well, I'm not counting. But anyway. <laughs> but protein and the vegetables. Oh, okay, same thing. Thing. Okay, That's sorry. Okay. I'm going to shut up See? now. <laughs> all right, now. What do we do? So first, we're going to start out with the dressing. Okay. Okay. Here are all the different ingredients. We have mayonnaise. We have, um, there's Old Bay, Old Bay, crushed pepper seeds. There's lemon juice. And I know... I always trip on this Worcestershire. 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 Yes. Sauce. Worcestershire County sauce. I <laughs> <Yeah. don't know. laughs> Anyhow, the recipe calls for 12 ounces of cream cheese, uh -huh. but this is eight ounces. I like to add a little of the borzen. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit. Ex it's a little bit more pricey, but it gives a lot more flavor. Okay. Huh? Okay. So we're going to get you started there. All right. I will Just start. all the ingredients right now, there. Has you already made us some here? Is this has already been done. In fact, okay. I excuse me. I've caramelized this. When we caramelize things, it gives it a lot more flavor. Right. Now it's been sitting here so it's a little stiff but I don't know if you can see this okay. see how it's a little glassy kind of like glossy yeah. all that oil what has happened has been absorbed in that so when you go to cook your your dip all that oil when it's heated it's going to come to the top, top and you don't want that okay so what we're going to do is you're going to take this this bowl spoon. everything in here yep okay put it right, right. in there Okay. We're, um, get this are we starting over here. again? Is that what we're doing? Oh uh, no. No. This okay. is going to be part of it. Okay. We just went with paper towels. We don't blot out some of that oil. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. And then oh, make sure I get this going here. Yep. Fire. Up the, okay. And got this. Fire up okay. the fire there. Okay. So, so what am I blotting? Everything that's in here? All that oil. And then what I like to do, and this is purely optional. Okay. You okay with here? I'm good. I'm okay. putting it in here. This is purely <laughs> optional, but whenever I cook like dips, chili, things like that, mm -hmm. I like to put a second round of the vegetables in where um, it hasn't been cooked, so you get more contrast oh, kind of texture. Oh, kind of freshened it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying about all the oil that came yeah. out of that. How about that? You okay. always want a little bit of contrast and texture. All right. Okay. So, so am I cutting out my peppers good. over here? That looks good. And Deborah, I'm putting all this in here, right? That's right. Okay. All right. Going in. And now you want to cut the peppers. Okay. One thing I like about Shrub the small knife. peppers, I know you like that knife. I love this knife. Is that watch when you cut the top. Yeah. Okay. Watch when I cut the top. Right. Just cut the top off. Okay. You'll see how these little small peppers are very, very um, preparation friendly. Mm. See how little, there's very little seeds in yeah. there. So you just want to pull that out. If you had the okay. larger peppers, you would have a lot more. A lot of work to fingers. do. You can just use your fingers. No, you brought the knife. I want to use the knife. Okay. <laughs> Now we're going to get this hot here. We have some butter. Um, you don't want to cook the shrimp all the way. Right. We like our shrimp nice and tender. And again, this is, this is frozen shrimp, so it's very cost effective. Also, the fact that we are going to be using, chopping this up, you don't have to get the larger shrimp, which is more expensive. Okay. Put this here. So I just whip this up? Yep. You're doing a good job. <laughs> I'm doing I'm getting it all over now, myself. Now, normally, I'm going to be honest with you. Normally, we'd use the handheld mixer. I don't like talking over that. Ah, <laughs> yeah. that's yeah, that's practical. That's right. See, that's, that's thinking right there. <laughs> okay. Now, once this gets really hot, you're going to see these shrimp are going to turn very, very quickly. You only probably want to cook them maybe a third, halfway at the most, because when you put all this together, they're going to continue to cook. And just smell the, the smell the aroma. And I guess it, if they uh, keep cooking, they get all rubbery and everything, so right? Is that what, what the Obviously, is I like to cook because it's very clear that I like to cook. <laughs> Would you stop Ooh, like that? Oh, my so. goodness. You're the right. best here. Can I maybe show you one little trick here? Oh, show me a trick. Show me a trick. Okay. Because I know you got to. All right. Just, I know you like to use a knife. Okay. Then just go ahead. And if you cut the pepper on this side, the skin down, and then you go to chop it. You know what, this show would go a whole lot quicker if you show me how to do stuff like that early on. <laughs> All right, now right now, like this shrimp We've is already done. done. I'm going to go ahead and pull it. All right, when you cook seafood, it's important to pull it one by one. Obviously, we're limited here in space because we're on TV. But at home, what I would do is I put these shrimp on a rack okay. with a sheet pan underneath of it because you want to cool these shrimp down as soon as possible. Otherwise, they're simply going to um, Keep they're going to overcook. Yeah. Okay. I'll turn this down so, a little so bit. So do them one, uh, what do you mean do them one by one? 
as soon as, see, like, for instance, see how this one? I don't know right. if you can see this. That one's good, yeah. This one's good. Like, this one is still very kind of raw. Still, yeah, yeah. Right. So, so just pick them up. As soon as individual. it starts to turn opaque, okay. we're just going to pull it just gotcha. like that. Did you want all four of these in? Um, if you, sure. And that means I get to use the knife more. I tell you what, and also mm -hmm. remember, you got to season it, too. Oh, that's right. A little right. salt and a little pepper. All right, tell you what. How are we doing over here? We're good. I, I pretty much finished it. Okay. Mix it all up. All, all right. right. We're going to keep doing it? this. We're going we're gonna to finish out what we're doing. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back and taste all this stuff. You're going to love this. Don't go anywhere. We've got today's Delmarva Life's occasion coming up your way next. <laughs> back in the Kirby and Holloway kitchen with Deverly Walker, personal chef. Thank, Thank you so much. Now, we went ahead and put together the vegetables. All right. We put everything in here. And as she was mixing, if you find that, for instance, it's a little getting a little stiff, just add a little extra mayonnaise. That's all okay. you have to do. And you chop the shrimp and put it. Show me real okay. quick how to chop the shrimp. I here. like my. I want shrimp in my shrimp dip, so mm -hmm. I like to keep it coarse. Mm -hmm. So something just like that. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. way, people really um, know there's shrimp in there, and that's perfect. You get a nice, nice coarse texture. Do you okay. mind if we eat some of that? Oh now? yes. Can we do Are the okay others? Again, yes, thank you so over. much for coming with us. I'll take a chance. You, you like scoops, why? I like the scoops because, well, I. Yeah, sure. I like um, uh -huh. I like the ratio of shrimp and the dip right. a lot more to the cracker. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I. So when you get something to eat, you want something to eat. No, this is what I do. Oh, that's what I you do. Oh, I see. You don't even like that's that's that spoon. That is the get way in. you get do. on in there. I don't know <laughs> that's what how you do it. All right. All right. So have at it, Deverly Walker. Thank you so much. If you want this recipe, you know how to get it. It's very very easy to do. Oh my, y'all look happy. So happy. Y'all look very very happy.